It was one of the most heartbreaking yet inspirational films ever made. Steven Spielberg's Schindler's List told the story of one man who put his own life on the line to save hundreds of children from Nazi death camps. One of those surviving children is speaking at the Palladium in St. Petersburg next week. And I am joined today by Rabbi Alter Korf, who was instrumental in bringing Rena Finder to St. Petersburg. Good morning, Good Rabbi. Morning. Thank How you for you, coming Natalie? in. It's our pleasure. Thank you for having us. And first, let's let's set the stage, if you will, and, and talk about being able to get Rena and why bringing Rena to the St. Petersburg audience was so important in her sharing her story with this area. You know, it's there's nothing like hearing a story firsthand, and especially in today's day and age, we must share these stories of survival, of strength, of courage, with with everybody in our community, but especially the young people. We're encouraging parents to bring their children. We're encouraging students to come. We have a special rate for students. This is, of course, at the Palladium on Monday the 12th at 7.30 p.m. The doors open at 7 o'clock. But Rina was a 10-year-old child when the Nazis invaded Poland. She was living a comfortable life. Her family was well-to-do. And then suddenly she's thrown into a ghetto and struggling for survival. These stories need to be shared, need to be heard. While these special people can still travel and be with us and share the story, now is the time to hear them, to get the live testimony. And you've touched on having other Holocaust survivors speak yes. in the past. But just because you've heard one story, you need to hear other stories because the different angles and the life, the life component that as the years go by, these survivors, they won't be around forever. That's true. And each survivor that we have brought in the past years, Anna Frank's step stepsister, Mart Cohen last year was a Nazi spy against the Nazis, a short but dynamic woman in her 90s. Each s survivor has such a special story to share. Rena's story is unique because she was saved by somebody like Oscar Schindler, who many have seen Schindler's List, mm -hmm. a very moving film if you haven't seen it yet. But Oscar Schindler was somebody who bucked the trend, who went against the flow, and he saved 1,100 Jews' lives. That's a lesson for our young people today, to do what's right. The lessons of the Holocaust is about how evil somebody can be, but also how good a person can be. You know, Rena talks in her about how when she was put, when she was taken out of the ghetto where she was working at a print shop with her mother to work in Schindler's factory, she thought Schindler's going to grow wings, you know? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Suddenly she felt like she went from hell to heaven. But the truth is you don't have to grow wings to make a difference in somebody's life. Each and every one of us can. And Rena's story demonstrates just that. I love how you said that and, and the story is to go along with Rena and of course you're going to be able to hear more if you take this opportunity. And I'm assuming, Rabbi, you always learn and continue to learn from everybody you talk with. What have you learned from Rena and being able to spend time with her and kind of setting this up? I, I'm absolutely amazed that uh, a person in her age, in her 80s, is, has the passion and determination to travel, to come share her story. I'm the director of the Chabad Jewish Center in St. Petersburg. We've worked with many speakers in the past, and I've seen this with many of the survivors we've worked with and brought into town, that they have this fire. Many of them in their 80s and 90s, they travel from across the world. They're determined to share their story. That, to me, is so inspirational. And I think everybody can learn from that, no matter what your background is. Well, let's go ahead. Is it important to get tickets beforehand, or can you get them at the door? So the, you can get your tickets at mypalladium.org. Uh, the Palladium Theater is in downtown St. Petersburg. We have a couple of tickets left. They are selling out. As long as tickets are available, you could get them at the door, but we expect that we might sell out soon. Last year we sold out and we had a long waiting list we couldn't accommodate. For Mart Cohen, we expect to sell out this year as well. So I encourage you to get your tickets now. Um, MyPalladium.org. It's Monday night, 7.30 p.m. at the Palladium, 7 o'clock, the doors open. Well, Rabbi, thank you so much for coming in. Natalie, Keep up the good work. Thank we you so really much for having me. It. I really appreciate you sharing the story with everybody. Absolutely.